Hello, good morning. I'm Roger Royce. I want to welcome you to the 2020 California Statewide Candidates Forum. And our next speaker today is David Kim. He is a second generation Korean American immigration attorney and neighborhood council member. He's running to represent California's 34th district in the US House of Representatives. So David, go right ahead. Thank you so much for having me, Roger. Yes, uh, hi, hi everyone. My name is David Kim. I'm running for US Congress here in California's 34th Congressional District. It includes downtown LA, Koreatown, Eagle Rock, Highland Park, um, and other surrounding neighborhoods. And we are living in very crucial times right now. We have masses of people uh, pre-COVID living paycheck to paycheck. Um, and now during the pandemic, we have millions without insurance, millions without jobs uh, to put food on the table to pay for rent. And with our district in particular, we are the 10th poorest congressional district in the nation. Uh, we have per capita incomes that are less than the average rent for a one bedroom apartment. And in a time like this, um, it's really, it should really be the priority of our elected officials to really care for and, and, and provide resources to the people. Um, if a government is once that's supposed to be of the people, for the people, and by the people, then it should be one prioritizing and putting the people first at all costs, above corporate interests, above short-term maximization of profits, above the military industrial complex, and, and so forth. And so now is the time to really put an end to the era of lip service career policy politicians who promise Medicare for all, uh, but take money from pharmaceutical companies and healthcare companies, who promise free education, but take money from student debt collectors and payday lenders, which are elected officials just like my opponent. And in a time like this where people are struggling, we have over 40,000 brothers and sisters living unhoused in our city alone. We really need elected officials that have something that they're fighting for and standing for. And so during times like this, we need big fundamental change to put the people back on track. And to me, when elected official says that they love and serve the people, love looks like something. It isn't just a word. And so love to me looks like something in action. So whether that be ensuring that our people don't have to worry about whether they have a roof to sleep under or food to eat or access to education and health care or be able to pay their basic expenses. So now it's about time for the government to put the people first. And that means putting a floor to stand on, giving every single American a floor to stand on. So if you visit our website, davidkim2020.com, you can learn more, read about our platform, see what we're fighting for. We're fighting for universal basic income, Medicare for all, a Green New Deal, a homes guarantee, taking money out of politics, uh, reforming our immigration system, abolishing ICE, and much more. Um, and of all the things that we are really pushing and fighting for, what, what's, what has a stronghold on our government right now is corporate interest and money, and we really need to overturn Citizens United. And during the meantime, while we're fighting to overturn that and, and fighting for clean campaign finance reform, we also need to keep our elected officials in check. And so once elected into Congress, I will be introducing a constituent political accountability bill requiring every elected official Yes, it sounds like holding their hands and going back to kindergarten, but unfortunately that's what we have to do to ensure that our elected officials are co-governing with the people and talking with the constituents before going to DC and legislating. Um, and so this political constituent accountability bill would require elected officials to hold office hours and town halls and to talk with their constituents about legislating, legislation before voting on them and other means as well to increase communication efficiency between our constituencies and our elected officials. And so if you have the time, we have about uh, about a month left till the November 3rd general election. We need all the support that we can get. We are a 100% grassroots people powered campaign, meaning we do not take money from corporate PACs or even non-corporate PACs because our allegiance is 100% to the people. And that's disruptive to the world of politics in DC because the only people that we're being held accountable to you being held accountable to is our constituency and, and the people in our district. So please check out davidkim2020.com. You can learn more about our campaign. You can contribute and volunteer there as well. Thank you so much. Please share the word, please vote. Now we are living in such crucial times. Um, if somebody tells you, hey, politics has nothing to do with me, share with them, no. When you turn on the lights, that's politics. When you get your paycheck, that's politics. When you pay for your rent, your mortgage, that's politics. Now's the time to wake up the sleeping giant and, and we can do it. So thank you so much. 
uh, please vote November 3rd, davidkim2020.com.